Hi, I'm Deborah Cronister. I'm an associate professor of art at Victoria College, and I'm going to show you how to make a French fire pot. Fire pots are a French weapon used in naval combat. An iron grenade with a fuse would be placed inside a clay pot and thrown. Record of their use goes as far back as the 1500s. In 1684, the French expedition of La Salle to find the Mississippi River wound up in Texas. Fire pots were found among the wreckage of their ship, La Belle, which sank during a great storm in Matagorda Bay. And the first step is always to center So this would be very much like the potters working hundreds of years ago, and in fact, uh, several thousands of years ago. The difference is that I have an electric wheel instead of an apprentice pedaling my wheel around. What this does is further prepares the platelets to become a thin wall because we're coaxing this very soft medium into being something very thin. Now I'll get ready to open. And I start opening up the form because of course all pots are hollow and any ceramic form is going to be hollow. Just about anything. One of the things that's so interesting about this project is that the only intact fire pots ever, ever, ever found anywhere on the planet were found on the LaBelle ship. And so we have a few of these pots that are intact and they display a tremendous variety of forms and handles and it's been so much fun to uh, learn how, learn the intimacies of each form because some of them had extra ridges for strength. Uh, for instance, the first time that I started looking at them, I thought some of these handles were absurd because they were so wide. They didn't make much sense to me. And then it occurred to me after, I didn't realize there were iron grenades in them. And once I realized that uh, what they held would be very, very heavy, it made a lot more sense. Sometimes you have handle connections that are quite wide and sometimes quite deep. And then you have others that look like they were made by amateurs <laughs> that were pinched on and I imagine they were just made very quickly and possibly were made by amateurs just to be able to prepare for uh, be prepared for warfare they might have called in people who hadn't done much ceramics and because these were disposable they tended to be made in one sitting Whereas a lot of pots are made in two sittings, where you make the initial form while it's still very wet and plastic and pliable, then you let it sit up and stiffen somewhat and then you turn it upside down and reshape the bottom. But they never did that. Uh, all of the pots, all of the fire pots that I have seen are cut straight off the wheel and, and that's it straight off the wheel and the pot is done. There is no single fire pot form. There are so many different kinds, different numbers of handles, one, two, even four, that although I have um, modeled several of these pots after the one at the Museum of the Coastal Bend, it has been fun to play with a variation that was there and now that I've actually seen and been able to handle so many different kinds of fire pots, it's really been a lot of fun to recreate multiple kinds, especially those crazy ones with the four handles. They're just silly. They look like Alice in Wonderland pots to me. Now I can shape this foot. And 
and they probably had a wooden rib to do this, but I use a credit card. That part is done and ready to cut off the wheel. And this also scrapes off the extra slip from the outside. And this particular pot that I'm thinking of right now had a hemispherical lower half and a fairly straight walled upper half. And that's pretty close to what I have here. And that nice big fat lip that even after the shrinking and the firing will be just barely large enough to hold a seven centimeter grenade. One down.